To commemorate the founding of New Orleans in 1718, WYES presents this tricentennial moment in celebration of our city's past and present. In April 1927, the age-old tug-of-war between man and the Mississippi River reached a climax when record rainfall created unprecedented flooding. The river overflowed its banks in seven states, resulting in the deaths of up to 500 people, causing approximately $400 million in damages, and threatening the city of New Orleans, the financial center of the South. On Good Friday, April 15, 1927, more than 14 inches of rain fell on New Orleans in a single day. Pumps that drained the city were disabled, but the levees held as the swollen Mississippi rushed through the area. To relieve pressure on New Orleans levees, however, the decision was made to blast a breach in the levee downriver in St. Bernard Parish. About 40 tons of dynamite opened a channel at Carnarvon that released 250,000 cubic feet of river water per second into Lower St. Bernard and Plaquemine parishes, displacing about 10,000 people. The refugees, many of whom were farmers and trappers, were promised relief. However, few people actually received compensation for the loss of their homes and livelihoods. The Great Mississippi River Flood of 1927 was the catalyst for the New Orleans levee system. The passage of the Flood Control Act made the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers responsible for flood protection along the river. The calamity created a federal flood control policy, resulting in construction of the world's longest system of levees. It promoted the introduction of spillways as safety valves to tame, if not control, the mighty Mississippi. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.